Okay, the first of two short presentations and videos on literature reviews. Um, this article, Nature, gives some advice on writing literature reviews. It's aimed at larger scale reviews for publication. It makes some good points about reviewing literature in general. And it's also worthwhile having a look at the other articles linked on this page. Uh, as I'm sure most of you know, when you get the presentation, uh, it's linked through via the images and also in the notes. So there's, there's links available to all of these items which I refer to. This is my absolute top tip for writing reports of any kind. Use a reference manager. Mendeley is a reference citation and bibliography manager. It's free and is a great time saver. Uh, reference managers are important professional tools and will help you your own work with collaborative projects. Mendeley is part of Teesside University's Future Facing Learning Toolkit. There are a number of versions, including a web-based application, one with the iPad and the PC desktop and laptop version. Um, the desktop and the web-based are much better than the iPad version, it has to be said. Uh, my swear on using Mendeley is linked here. This is updated reasonably often. I uh, usually had any new technique video re recently, most recently, on the very useful uh, notes uh, tool, which is fantastically useful for taking notes, notes and annotations, really useful. See the video. Okay, moving on. Um, this is a possible framework for thinking about your review. You may take a different view. This is a good idea to have a plan and be systematic and think about why you're doing it this way. Why do we care? It's the first thing you should ask about your topic. People are interested in it because it matters, but why? Why are you interested specifically? Then consider the state of knowledge in the field. What are the most important issues? What methods have been used to develop our understanding? Uh, finally, what don't we know but really should? Eventually, based on your understanding of the topic, you will be able to start developing potential ways of looking at these outstanding issues. Uh, we're now going to skip back to the beginning of the process. It's important for you to know first the bases on which you will do your review. As part of your documentation, you should record which databases you use and also the date on which you make any searches. Uh, more on dates in a moment. So these, these are some fairly common ones which you will be mostly familiar with. And you, there are links in the there are links in the notes. I think I, actually there isn't for this, but I'm sure you can find them anywhere. Uh, it's probably a good idea to think about initial search terms. You probably have an idea to start with. When you found some interesting papers, have a look at the keywords. These can be useful in developing your own search terms further. Uh, some general advice from searching, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Uh, it's an example of a search used in Science Direct. I'm looking for papers that contain two words, mapping and nutrition. If we look at the results, we've found over 16,700 papers, which is a lot. Uh, and you obviously can't review them in any, any sensible way. The problem is that we search the whole text of the paper. Uh, mapping and nutrition are mentioned somewhere in all of these papers. Maybe just a short mention, or maybe even just to mention the references. We need to make sure we are searching in the right part of the papers. Uh, this time I've changed the search, so we're looking at only the abstract title and keywords. That is much better, we get many fewer results. In fact, we only got 48 papers. It won't take long to check these to see how useful each paper is to us. And we'll talk about criteria for this a little bit later on. Uh, there's something very important here, the search term. Uh, Science Direct is very good and gives you the search term of the results. Not all databases do this. You should know this already from what you've asked the, asked the database. Uh, well worth documenting your search terms. There's a lot of information how to do this, particularly in using multiple search terms, such as this link, for example, from the library. Um, as mentioned, you should always document your database and search terms. Uh, parts in blue here tell us which parts of the papers were searched, the title, the abstract, and the keywords, which is standard. Uh, then record the search terms. Uh, record both the database you used and the date you did the search. Uh, you could document your process in the write-up. You certainly should document your process in the write-up. It, it can be done visually like this, but there are many other ways of doing this. Okay, inclusion exclusion criteria. Um, you may want to consider these. These are characteristics make a study eligible or in ineligible included in your review. Date is a common criterion. In many cases, it's only appropriate to go back five years from the current date, such as the pace of development of knowledge in various areas. 
You may also want to include just human studies, for example, and exclude animal studies, uh, unless they happen to be particularly relevant. And some examples there. Uh, so, summary of the process. As noticed earlier, using a reference manager will greatly facilitate the process. Okay, that's all for this short first part. Uh, as ever, you should discuss these issues with your research supervisor.